roller towards second. Dubon with a wild throw, and Wendell's going to head to third. And now that one gets down the left field line. I mean, that now let's break this down. So we have Bell up. And he gets an off-speed pitch in the one-two count and pounds it right into the ground. But you can see right here, let's look at Bell. You can see that he just sprints out of the batter's box. He didn't give in. He didn't just say, you know what? I pound this ball into the ground. I'm just going to say I'm out right now, right? I'm just going to give up. No, he sprints out of the box, okay? And you can see how Debon, he comes in, he stops his feet right he stops his feet and then he looks up and he sees bell just chugging down the line chugging down the line right and then he tries to make a quick snap throw over and this ball just tails off away from singleton and singleton can't make this catch and you can see here we have issues and now we're going to circus baseball okay and so i want to say this a key here is that bell applied pressure he ran out of the batter's box right it's two outs and he's like you know what i'm playing hard and i'm running down the line and you would think a big guy like him who is known to drive the baseball would just say ah all right whatever and just kind of just shut it down but he comes out of the box and he runs hard and he puts his head down okay now the next thing here is that dubon comes in and just stops his feet with this play right here you want to come through it and you want to shuffle and throw if he just moved his feet towards the base he would have been able to uh, make a throw right to his chest but since he stopped his feet and then he looked up that's where all the issues um, happen and this happened to me I used to play shortstop and then um, when I went to third base I would catch the ball and I would look at the runner and then my feet was stuck and then I'll try to throw it to first base and I would make throwing there so I would catch everything over there and then um, I would start making throwing there and once I started basically going back to my roots of like shortstop and always moving your feet coming through the baseball then i start throwing it right to the first baseman's chest so uh, this happens not only at second base this happens at third base too so if you're an infielder what i recommend for you and this could be a big key for you is take ground balls at shortstop before you go to your normal position so if you're a second baseman take ground balls at shortstop what that's going to do is force you to move your feet through the baseball and if you're a third basement it's the same thing take ground balls a shortstop and then go to your position now you got your feet moving it's going to make it easier for you to start throwing right to your target so let's go back now you can see here Dubon Dubon throws the ball and he flips it over there and this ball kind of tells away I believe this is a catchable ball this ball should have been caught but uh, I can see why it didn't singleton being a lefty this ball was telling way away because again he wasn't moving his feet and he didn't come through this baseball there's uh two different ways he could have did it he could have kind of came through it shuffled his feet and throw or he could have kept coming and then creating the an angle and then just flipped the ball right to him and that would have been really really easy i remember my coach in um and pro baseball he always said if you're moving keep moving meaning that if you're charging the ball in as you can see right here he hits this ball and he's charging in he's charging in keep moving right keep coming through this ball catch it and then flip it a lot of times we do this where he's coming in he he knows this hit soft he starts coming in hard and then now he starts breaking down and say okay i could just you know catch this ball and just flip it over there and then he looks up here and you can see how he's close to the line he's telling himself oh i need to hurry up and that's where you're going to get the throwing air because his feet wasn't moving so that could be another tip for you guys out there is that if you're in motion stay in motion right if you're coming hard in keep going create an angle flip the ball to first base and that's going to help you out with that said i would love to know your thoughts comment below Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this, hit that like button for me. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you.